Welcome to our lecture online. So here we have a different type of problem. We're given a triangle on an xy axis. And notice it has four corners, one at 2, 1, one at 6, 1, and one at 2, 4. And when we connect the three corners, we can see that the length of this side is 3, the length of that side is 4, and the length of that side therefore must be 5 because it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Then they give us the coordinate points of the corners of four more triangles. Triangle A, B, C, and D. And notice we're trying to find which of those four is congruent to the one that was given. And of course we're going to have to graph those, so I prepared already the whiteboard with four uh, XY coordinates so we can start graphing these. So starting with A, we have our first point at negative 1, 1, so we go negative 1, in the x direction and plus 1 in the y direction so we have one corner there negative 1 5 so negative 1 5 so that's 2 3 4 5 so this is plus 1 this is negative 1 this is plus 5 so there's another point right there and then we have negative 4 5 so that's negative 4 that's about here and 5 which would be about there all right so when we connect those now take a look and see, we have the three sides. Notice from here to here, we go from negative 1 to negative 4, so that side has length 3. Here we go from 1 to 5, so that side has length 4. And then it looks, of course, that this therefore must be 5. We have a 3, 4, 5 triangle, and right away we found the one triangle that is congruent to that one. Why do we know that it's congruent? Because the corresponding sides have the same length, and that's the only condition necessary. So A is definitely one of the answers but perhaps there's more of them lurking in there so let's see if we can find another one if there's another triangle that is congruent to the first triangle that was given so for b we have a first point at negative two four so negative one negative two and positive four one two three four right there and so that would be our first point right there the next one is negative seven four so negative seven that would be about here and four would be right there so that would be negative 7, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 in the y direction, negative 7 in the x direction. The next one is negative 4. That would be about here. And positive 6. 4, 5, 6. This is 4. And so where those two meet, that would be right about there. And let's connect those points. Hmm. Could be. We'll see. Anyway, let's see, we go from negative 2 to negative 7, this side is equal to 5. Now we go from 4 to 6, but at a diagonal. So notice, let's plug in the uh, coordinates, so this one would be at negative 2, comma 4, and this point right here would be at negative 4, negative 4, comma 6. All right, let's find out what the length of that is, and of course the length of that uh, let's call that side 2, so S2. So the length of S2 is equal to the square root of the differences in the x value squared plus the differences in the y value squared. That's essentially the distance formula. And so this is equal to the square root of the change in x is from negative 2 to negative 4, so that's 2 squared plus the change in y would be from 4 to 6, which is also 2, that would be 2 squared. So this is equal to the square root of 4 plus 4, which is equal to the square root of 8, which is not equal to any one of the sides of our given triangle. The square root of 8 is somewhere between 2 and 3, so therefore it's not a congruent triangle. All right, let's go to C. So B is not a possible answer. Let's go to C. Negative 3, 2, so we go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and 2, 1, 2, like that. And the next one is negative 1, 3, so negative 1 and 3, so we have a point over there. We have negative 3 and 2, a point over there. And then we have negative 3, 1, okay, negative 3, 1 right there. And right away I can see by the shape of that and by the length of the sides that those are much smaller than what we have over here. So we can see that C, I don't even have to try it, I can visually see that it's not a congruent triangle. And finally for D, starting at negative 7, 7. So negative 7 in the x direction and positive 7 in the y direction. So that would be our first point. 
Our next point is negative 7, 9. So we go up to 9 here, negative 7, 9, that would be that point. And notice the distance between those two is equal to 2. And none of the sides of our initial triangle has a side equal to 2, so I don't even have to find the other point. I can already tell that that will not be congruent, so D is also not one of the answers. Turns out that A, the first one that we found, is the only one of the four triangles that is congruent to the given triangle. And that is how it's done.